Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing number patterns. In grade 10, when you are doing the first difference, what we said was you would always take term 2 minus term 1. So when you take term 2 minus term 1, look at what happens. 20 minus 12 gives us 8. Now we are going to say term 3 minus term 2. So we say 30 minus 20 and we get 10. Let's continue. If I say 42 minus 30, I'm getting 12. Then if I say 56 minus 42, I'm getting 14. So what you would notice is that the first difference, which is what you did in grade 10, is not the same. As soon as you notice, but you know the first difference is not the same, then you would realize, okay, I'm doing something different now. What you're doing is, you're doing a second difference. So you're going to do the same thing that you were always doing, where you'll take the one term minus the next, but you're now going to do it with the second row. So look at what happens. I'm going to say 10 minus 8, and I get 2. Then I'm going to say 12 minus 10, and I get 2. 14 minus 12, and look at what happens, I get 2. So what we're doing is, we are actually getting a second difference. And the second difference is what we learn in grade 11. Now how do we get the formula? In order to get the formula, you're going to make the second difference equal to 2a. So what we're going to do is the second difference is going to equal to 2a. The first difference is going to equal to 3a plus b. So our first difference is going to equal to 3a plus b. And our first term, remember 12 is our first term, is going to equal to a plus b plus c. Now, once you finish fill in this information, what you need to know how to do is you need to know how to do your simultaneous equation. So for 2a, 3a plus b, and a plus b plus c, we're going to use simultaneous equations. Now if you are not okay with your simultaneous equations, you have to go back to our previous videos and ensure that you are familiar with your simultaneous equations before attempting this. Now what we're going to do is we're simply going to equate. 2a is going to equal to 2. I'm going to solve for a, so I have a is equal to 1. Now once I have a, I'm going to go to my second equation. My second equation is 3a plus b is going to equal to 8. Now I already have a, a is equal to 1. So I'm going to say 3 into 1 plus b is equal to 8. If you solve for b, you're going to have 8 minus 3, b is going to equal to 5. Now how do we solve for C? Again, it's like simultaneous equations. I'm going to have A plus B plus C is going to equal to 12. I have A. A is equal to 1. Plus, you have B. B is equal to 5. So you're going to say plus 5 plus C is equal to 12. To solve for C, I'm going to take over the 1 and the 5, so I'm going to have 12 minus 6, so C is going to equal to 6. Now how do you write down the formula? The formula for a second difference is exactly like a quadratic equation. Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. You can see the descending powers of n squared. So you have n squared, then you have n, and you have no n, just like how you would have had x squared plus bx plus c. 
or ax squared plus bx plus c. It looks exactly like a trinomial or a quadratic equation. Now you simply substitute. What was your a? Your a was 1. So we have 1n squared plus, what was your b? 5. So we have 5n plus c, which is equal to 6. So your final equation is tn is equal to 1n squared plus 5n plus 6. Thank you for watching.